But in, 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 in time, God pardoned our faith. We believe in the end. In the time you're doing something from your heart, God will bless it anyway. Isn't that right? So we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. Amen. And we're holding the Lord. There's a word of the Lord to this way of congregation to YouTube, to Facebook, and those who are watching us live streaming and here. We need to ministry and everything. And we're doing the work of the Lord. We give all the glory and honor for it. Look at the book of Joshua. The book of Joshua. Touched on the last part of this before, but we want to go back to those first verses of that first chapter, the first five verses. I think before we did five through nine some time ago. But we want to go back to some, something of the same mindset, but it's to let us know why it is so important to have the Lord with us. Amen. So let's go back to the book of Joshua, the first chapter. Amen. For the sake of time, we're going to only read the first five verses of that chapter. Another verse is that we will go back in the morning. Joshua. And those who cry will call it Joshua. Amen. Y'all ain't never heard them say it like that, have you? Amen. They would say Joshua. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I pray about them old folk, man. A lot of that stuff, amen. They just want you to know it. Amen. And a lot of them were free, real good. They didn't ever have
say the fire, he's with you. There are so many times that things will happen in our lives that make us wonder whether or not we're moving in the right direction or that we're moving at all. Because circumstances and situations tell us otherwise. But it's a time in which God assures his people that he's still available and accessible. Available and accessible means that matter of time, day and night, you call on him, he will come and still about you. That he will answer. And then that, 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 that are times we got to know that those we thought we could depend on are no longer there. We still must know we have the Lord. And sometimes it's through death. And sometimes it's through relationships that are broken. Some, it could even be through a career, a job. It could be your best friend and you thought was your best friend. Joe was here, Joe would tell you about those friends. They're all innocent today. But however it may be, whatever you've been holding on to, it could be things that you're holding on to. Could be systems that you're holding on to. And all of a sudden you look and you find that it's no longer that. Or they're no longer that. Joshua needed to be reassured that not only would God be with them, but they would have power. I don't think we recognize and realize how awesome Moses was in the life of the Israelites. And it was awesome because God made him awesome. I was out of prison today. No other one in the Bible that we read, amen, outside of Jesus, that you see did the work and had such a great task, or I should say, an even greater task than Moses. And so therefore they had great respect. If you remember that of Moses, even when he left and went up on the mountain, Mount Corral, amen, and he went up there and he Mount Sinai, Mount Horeb. Some books you see Mount Horeb. Some of them show you Mount Sinai. However way it may be that, that, that he was up on the mountain to receive the tithes of the Lord, the word of the Lord. When he, when he was down there with him, Chris was grossness. So I was his time. In other words, everything was good. Amen. But when you left them, because they had they had been so dependent upon him. That's why you gotta be careful when you're too dependent on people and dependent on things and dependent on stuff. And when it doesn't come out the way you want to come out, it doesn't turn out the way you want to turn, you won't be so upset. Now that is not an easy thing to do because we are brought up in a lot.
So therefore, the time has come for you to meet these people. They did they come, they left. Egypt. And then all that wilderness. But yet the promise has not been fulfilled yet. No one the promise. The promise is for a new land. A promised place. For the people that he had promised it to. And then he said, now I got a place for you. The promised land. I got a place. He said, now that's still, that's still in the world. Sometimes when we begin to talk to God, we think everybody's going to see what we're going to see. Amen. Anybody ever told me? I, I thought my mother would have been here with all this. Amen. You know what I'm saying, son? But that wasn't God's will. Sometimes God will move people. So you can grow up.
seven o'clock. I ain't saying that. He <laughs> will be up. The Lord will be up. Amen. We might have been talking about you, right? You're saying, 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 you're saying,
reminds us to know that we can't go too far to the left right. or even to the right. Yeah. But we got to stay right in the middle. Yeah. In other words, there will be times in our lives in our life that will be somebody pulling you one way yeah. and somebody else pulling you another way.
strong. I went back to the doctor on Tuesday. My kids say don't get high again. I got that up with prostate cancer back in 2016. I got down with prostate cancer and kidney cancer. Oh, 
want you to accept it. I want you to receive it, Lord. Then we are part of you. You say, we don't do it. You have no part to do with us. Lord, we need every ounce, every day, every day to be on the body of Christ. So we thank you, Lord. We love you. We adore you. These are all the blessings we ask. And that's why Jesus name we do praise. Amen.
enjoy the relaxation, lay with them we can, fellowship with one another. Please keep us all safe. Please keep us safe. Let's be safe for whatever we do. Let's be safe. Let's do it right. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we'll forever glorify your holy name. These and all other blessings. And I said Jesus. And I said Jesus' name. And I said Jesus' name.